Hi guys, today we are doing a alcohol ink rainbow on a black base tumbler. As you know, I like to test new alcohol inks on a black base, so that is what we are doing. I have so far put a coat of CCDIY's Fast Set on. Um, I'm going back to trying CCDIY because as much as I love the KS Liquidy Split, it doesn't always work well in my environment. So I figured I'd try the CCDIY, CCDIY back out for fall. Because um, I was out of the Liquidy Split anyways. I do have another Fast Set coming, but it's not here yet. I am not going to use an alcohol ink for my white. I'm going to mix up some mica. So I do have some resin set aside still to mix my mica in. And I'm just going to go with the Perlex Pearl White. Because I like the shimmer in it. I'm going to give it a pretty hefty scoop. And I'm going to add one drop of the Alumalite White Opaque dye. If I can get a drop to come out. Oh, okay. A little more than a drop. I forgot this one comes out faster than the old one. So... Mix that up. Whoops. Got a little white mic on my cup already. So I finally let these out of my save for later on Amazon. But I got the T-Rex alcohol inks, the 12-piece starter set, which is a rainbow of color. So we're going to use these. Get it opened. I am going to use the dragon fruit pink. The Shiraz red. Bellini orange, which we'll see how orange it actually is. The sunshine yellow. There's two greens, so I'm going to just pick one. I'm going to go with the Jurassic Green. It's the darker of the two. And for the blue, Teal, Glacier Blue, and Deep Sea Blue. And I think because I have so much space, I'm actually going to put maybe two drops of the Teal. Tidal Teal. Then I'm going to do the deep sea blue. And I do need either another little drop of red or orange up here. Perhaps both. I can see where it's missing. You probably cannot see it at all right now. So I think that's good on the blue and then the amethyst purple at the very bottom. And rolling down the bottom. I 
Okay. And now I've got my white drizzle. I'm not going to have any rhyme or reason to how I apply this. It should still be heavier than the ink, so it should still work. Okay, so I'm going to hit this with my torch a little bit and see if we can't get that white to move. I wasn't going to use my heat gun, but I may have to. So I'm going to tilt this just a little bit. I'm going to let it start to sink to the bottom just the tiniest bit. And then I'm going to tilt it back the other way. And in the meantime, I am going to switch direction. It is spinning towards me. I want it spinning away from me. to encourage some more movement. These are extremely vibrant. I am quite pleased. So, I am going to just let this go ahead and spin and do its thing. And when it's dry, we'll come back in and, um, and there are absolutely no fish eyes opening up on this that I can see. Sometimes you can actually pick them up better on the camera screen, but I don't see a single thing. And they look like a pearl ink because I use that pearl mica powder. So, but I am in love with this so far. So, I'm going to let it dry, get my decal cut, and I will be back. Okay, full disclosure, I went to decal this, and it was still too tacky. So, um, I'm not going to show you that, but the transfer tape is still on here under the epoxy. You can see in the red where it's covering a little bit of the letters. So, um, other than that, it's kind of like using a clear decal. But I didn't want to waste the entire cup, so I did go ahead and just epoxy it, but the cup itself is absolutely gorgeous, and I didn't want to not show you the design. So, see that in the red? I'll probably have to put, like, that layer, that word back over the top, but, um, yeah, the cup itself is just gorgeous. Here, I'll show you close up. So... There you go. I'm done. I'll put another coat on it tomorrow and we'll see what happens. But that's it.